There's a fish. There's a fish right there. <laughs> Fishing today with my buddy Gary Yamamoto. Oh no, there's a in East Texas. This is a little guy. I, I caught that fish on a little RC crankbait, Gary. Uh huh. I know you're not going to throw that, but I'm just telling you that. Just for well, yeah. <laughs> I know exactly. But, I know exactly what you you're know what throwing. You, you know what you need to do? What? Put that in the live well for me. What are you going to put in live well? You going to put him in live well? Yeah. I'll move him to a new home. Oh, move him to a new home. Okay. Yeah. All right. See, he's pretty doggone healthy. He's a pretty good most fish. Of, yeah, most of my fish are pretty healthy. You want to look at this, but this is my little um, split shot hook that I've had for about 30 years. You're putting, you put your main line through there and then put the extra piece. Yeah. And then just do a snell knot. See, I used to tie this. Right, yeah. And now you got both of them on there. Yeah, but now I don't even have to tie this. I just do it on the on the hook. And that's an extra. Uh, I mean, but that's just an extra piece of uh, twenty of twenty pound, uh, twenty five pound floral. Yeah. And then, you, then you're gonna just uh, nose hook your sink. Uh, And you have a weedless, weedless nose hook rig. Yep. That's pretty easy, simple to do. Simple, and normally it works a long time. Even old guys can yeah. learn from other old guys. <laughs> That's one thing about this this setup. He, he's caught you, when he bites it. Yeah, in. you just don't set the hook and just. You, you didn't set the hook at all. You no, just, just keep it. I tight. can't hardly do that, Gary. I got a jerk. I can't hardly do that. Nuts, huh? <laughs> I love that rig. I never thought of doing that. That's a great way to do it. Oh, There's look. another one you can move to another look, lake. Look how it's hooked. Perfect. Right in the lip. And you never set the hook. All you no. did is just start winding. This is the uh, this is the amateur rig. <laughs> <clears throat> I had a lady call me up when I was in the office. She came she was calling from Idaho or someplace that, you know, I didn't think there was any bass. And she said, what can I use behind my husband? He catches all the fish and I can't catch anything. <laughs> so I said, I sold him some Senkos and I sold her this hook. And I said, just nose hook it and don't work it very much. Just drag it behind your husband. And uh, next Monday morning, I get in the office and I get a call. I won, I won, I won, I won. <laughs> what in the world are you saying, you know? And I said, who are you? I'm the lady that you sold these hooks to. And I beat everybody in the club. Oh, and mercy, I, mercy, I mercy. Said, just did, I just did what you told me, drag it behind the boat and didn't even do anything. Yeah, so it was something else. It, that was the, I guess that was the best highlight of my life, you know, teaching well, somebody how that, to fish that, like that. That, that is, and you know, when you get people at, he has a hard time catching fish, and you teach him how to catch one. That's that's really that that is special. There he is. There he is. Come up and hit oh, that spinner bait. Go, get a good one. Well, I just had a, I just had one. I just had one about four pounds. Come up, and miss that spinner bait. He, he hit it right at the boat. I, he just run out. Of, he wouldn't. He didn't miss it. He just run out of territory. Oh. You want to move that one, Gary? Yeah. And uh, he just fish he, in he here. just ran out of territory. That's a nice nice little fish. That other one's about four pounds. I saw him really good. Mm. Oh, good cast. And, uh, uh, Gary, you know that you and I are the two oldest guys out there fishing big-time national tournaments at the top level, don't you? <laughs> I know. I'm the oldest. <laughs> How? Uh, oh, I got a fish on. Huh? You, had, you, got, you got him right now, don't you? I hope, yeah. Oh, he's... Right. Well, he thinks he's better. Well, he is better. better. He's the biggest fish I caught today. I think it is. I think it is. <laughs> well, I had a four-pounder get close to getting caught. But I think it might be bigger than any I've caught, too. Yeah, Gary, how long has it been? How long have you been making lures? I mean, I I, 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 I don't. I didn't ever know when you didn't make lures. 
I started in 1980. 1980, so that's 37 years. That's almost all my life. Well, sort of. You know, when I started making lures, it was basically the hula grub. Yeah, that was the first one, wasn't it? Yeah, I bought bought the uh, grubs from Jean Larue, and uh, I had twin tees make the skirt, and all of a sudden. I find out that Twin Tees is going out of business. Right. And I'm going to lose my supply of skirts. So I conned my brother-in-law at that time that was a dental technician to buy the business. And he was going to be my partner. He spent a week or a couple of weeks working at the plant. He said, I don't like this. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I can't give you your money back. You're just going to have to wait. He said, okay. So that's how I ended up with the whole dog on thing. I'll be dang. He'd have been better off if he'd have kept, stayed working yeah, at the plant. Yeah, he, did, he didn't realize what was going to happen, you know. What year did the Cinco come along? Uh, it was it, almost 20 years ago yeah, now. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I it's was, been... Remember the sluggo? Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, man. The oh, yeah. fish would hit it, but <laughs> catching the fish was another story, you know. So I said, I wanted something soft that I could jerk bait and that's when I started I bought a lathe I bought all the tools to whittle down my uh, bait that I was going to design and then I said this is too much work you know? and so I grabbed the big pen that was in my pocket and called Benny my plant manager and I said hey go buy a big pen and make me a, a mold of that really and so that was it Really? So the original Senko was didn't have anything except the, you know, it was just the shape of a big pen. Did it have a BIC molded into it? No, that's one <laughs> thing we didn't. <laughs>